Hey, True Believers England team here with a comic book review. Obviously, from the thumbnail, you know it's the other side of the DC his history, issue number four. Um, normally, I do three comic book uh, reviews in one video. This time, I'm going to stick to this one. I don't know how long I will be talking about it. There's a lot to say, but I don't want to just comment on this issue. I want, I'm going to be kind of going back and forth. I don't actually know what I'm going to say to tell you the truth, but here's the thing. The subject of this book should have been Rene Montoya, but to put what I just said into context, the subject of the first book should have been Black Lightning. The subject of the second book should have been Mal and Bumblebee from the Teen Titans. Subject of the third should have been Katana. And this one, as I stated before, should have been Rene Montoya or The Question, whatever you want to call her these days. Um, I think part of the whole problem of taking a famous character and just race swapping or doing it is the fact that they're never called that character. They're always called the black version or, you know, in this case, Rene Montoya was a good and well-established character long before uh, Greg Rucka decided, hey, let's start her up. Anyway, I don't know how this is going to go. Okay, so uh, here's the thing. Normally I say, hey, sit back, relax, uh, and enjoy. I hope you enjoy it. I really do. And, and by all means, sit back, get comfortable. I don't know. <laughs> it's, the, it's the fact that when I read this, I, 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 didn't, I almost didn't make it to the end. This took me damn all day to read because of what's going on here. So you know what? I'll say it anyway. So let's kick back, relax, and let's get this party started. Okay, first, I'm going to talk about the cover, because I like this cover. It's the first one that shows more. Um, we got costumes and half bodies in the last ones. Why not just show who it is? Especially when it comes to somebody like Renee Montoya's Question or Katana, who is known to a lot of people, but not to everybody. Let's highlight that stuff. Otherwise, I think this is actually a pretty good cover for the book. They should have just shown the whole thing. Uh, in this case, look, um, and I do, I'm, I included the credits because I wanted to show this is John Ridley's fault. John Ridley is not a comic book writer. He really isn't. One thing that I've noticed throughout these issues is, uh, um, is he does what a lot of modern day, com well, maybe he is a comic book writer because a lot of modern day comic book writers have been doing the same thing that he does. Instead of finding out who the character is and writing them, he puts himself into the character and into the book. There are many passages throughout this, uh, this book where the narrative, such as it is, stops dead. So John Ridley could preach to us about how he feels about certain things. The next thing I noticed is, as I said, they, they, the character is not Rene Montoya. If you've read comics, you've got a sense of who Rene Montoya is. This person is uh, absolutely angry from the beginning to end, but do you know what? So was Black Lightning. So was Mal and Bumblebee. So was Katana. There's no character here. There's no human here. There is a trait. Now, there's different styles of anger. That's what that's the big difference here. That's a big difference between characters. There's the the way they approach their anger and that's it. it unfortunately, though, we're also treated to a Renee Montoya who is uh an alcoholic. Hates Batman. Uh, that actually wasn't, I don't know about New 52, Renee Montoya, in all honesty. So maybe this is how she's been re written recently. But there's a point where she's saying, oh, and my partner, Harvey Bullock. And she goes through um, how much she appreciates and loves the way that Harvey Bullock will go after criminals, but she absolutely, oh, and uh, she absolutely hates Batman. And then he takes a, uh, by the way, um, John really takes a whole page to talk about the AIDS uh, scare in the 80s and 90s. Just out of the blue, he did that in every book. It's like, hey, okay, here's the story, and 
here's something just pss, let me let me put that randomly in there um so renee montoya very very much in this book goes after uh let's say symbols of law enforcement symbols of law and order and justice all the while she's praising two-face for being who he really is she actually admires him we get that during this scene right here where he's talking about no man's land the cops are just as bad as the criminals pairing off into gangs and fighting and killing and like if you've ever read that book you know that the uh cops aside from a couple of the bad ones which gordon was trying to get rid of and uh change were really trying not to kill anybody yet john really here writes it uh just like that and you get that all throughout the story you get that all throughout the story where he's just changing stuff uh, he does bring up Chris uh, Crispus Allen, and I, I do appreciate that. And I was like, oh, wait a second. And I had to go look this up because I was like, well, you, they're bringing up him, and I understand uh, he became the uh, he became the Spectre, but what about Jim Corrigan? Well, yeah, he gets brought up also. Now, it does talk about how, well, as a lesbian, I had to hide my blah, blah, blah. And okay, that's that's fine, but it's the anger that's behind it. It's that you know what? Look, it's not everybody else's fault. I'm sorry, but do go out there, be who you are. It's okay. It's your, it's oh my goodness, the anger, the vitriol. That's all you get through this. There's there's not even a good romance story. There's not even somebody who likes being who she is. Is she oftentimes? Uh, Any time in a relationship goes out and sabotages because uh, I don't know why. But there, it's just Renee Montoya in this book is absolutely unlikable. Just an unlikable bitch all throughout out it. And that's John Ridley's choice because I've read books with Renee Montoya in it. And the person he's describing here isn't her. And I'm not saying people don't go through complicated relationships. Everybody does. Oh, and this is the story of uh, Jim Corgan the corrupt cop who was killed by the way um it was i was reading this money wait what did i miss something maybe like i said maybe it's new 52 stuff maybe i i didn't quite get it and i looked it up no no that's not that's not how it happened in the new 52 either so this made me realize oh my gosh John Ridley did absolutely no research, or maybe he did, but he just ignored it. I say absolutely, that's a that's an all-encompassing word, and I shouldn't actually use it. But you could tell that very little, at least, research was done for this book. All throughout, all freaking throughout this book, you get a person. I don't know who John Ridley is writing about. I'm assuming it's John Ridley. Because I do know for a fact that the character that he's writing is not Renee Montoya. It just isn't. This Renee Montoya absolutely hates law and order. And that I'm, I'm using the word absolutely in context. If it's not her, you're a corrupt cop. If it's not her other than Jim Gordon. If you're not her, even if you are a cop, you're corrupt. And you want to do bad things to people who aren't white. And by the way, more than once, white is used as a pejorative in this book. This is a straight-up racist book. It's, uh, it's sad. It's sad that there's an editor somewhere that read this and said it was okay. It's sad that John Ridley, a successful black man, is telling people that there's no success to be had in America for people who aren't white. It's sad that this is the prevailing outlook of the modern comic book writer. It's sad that this person made me not like Renee Montoya. Now, the worst part of all of this is I've got a couple other reviews to do. One, I might actually pay for the comicsology version so I could go panel to panel. This is Mr. Miracle right here, and I don't see it around anywhere. Oh, here it is. I also, because I was a huge fan of Milestone in the 90s, picked up this. And unfortunately, I, I realized, I said this on a live stream over at I Love Comics. I'll say this here. Unfortunately, it seems like comic book writers believe there's only one story to tell when it comes to people who aren't white. 
And um, I'm sorry, but there's so many. There's so many. When you do this kind of writing, when you do what John Ridley did with this book, you are assuming, you are saying that everybody of this is, uh, everybody who is not white male, by the way, um, is exactly the same. And it's kind of sad. I, I'm a huge fan of Mr. Miracle. And I, I, I've liked uh, all iterations. So, okay, I was looking forward to the book. Holy crap, it's just an angry black man. It's, it's uh, same, same here. Non-angry black men, no need to apply. A, a, a milestone, every character is exactly the same, just different ages. Well, you know what, that's not true. Uh, in, in the milestone icon is a little bit different, so... There you go. And that's, it's really sad because they turn, or John really turned Rene Montoya into that in this book. It could have, I was looking forward to the other side of the DC history. I really was. Because what you could have gotten, by the way, is finally get these smaller characters out there. And these smaller characters could have been the inspiration that the larger characters have been. But unfortunately, that's never the story that's allowed to be told. And once again, I used an all-encompassing word when I said never. So more than likely, you're able to find one out there. I, I, but these days, I don't know. I don't know if you can. Go figure. I'll, uh, when it comes to characters who are not white, you're allowed to be angry. You're allowed to be oppressed. You're allowed to be put upon. But you're not allowed to be inspirational. Not by the big two. Definitely not by DC. That's what I came up with when I read this story. That's what this story said to me. Not just the Rene Montoya, but the entire series. Reading this, and by the way, if you for context, I read these two and this book one right after another. So maybe that's why my ire is a bit up. Because I literally just read three books with uninspirational heroes and the reason why they were uninspirational is because the writer had one story to tell and it's freaking ridiculous that that is all that's allowed and that's the way it is actually happening because we're seeing on on the twitters we're seeing more and more that these characters um are being called in to write based on the skin Based on the sexual uh, orientation, based on, I guess, gender, people are separating that by now. And they're only allowed to write those characters, and they're only allowed to tell one story. I think you could write an inspirational story using Rene Montoya. I think an uh, inspirational story. I've, re actually, I've actually read inspirational stories with Black Lightning. He's one of my favorite heroes of all time. I would like to see those again. But that's just my opinion. What is yours? Let me know in the comments below. I know some of you are going to tear me a new one on this one. I'm looking forward to it. You know who I'm talking about, you. Okay, uh, but go right on ahead. Let me let me hear it. Uh, I do invite... I might not uh, like what you say. I might respond with a little bit of heat, too. But I do appreciate when people call me out when they think they're, they're wrong, that I'm wrong. So long as you explain why. You know, be smart about it. You can't insult me. So, you know, tell me why. Alrighty, once again, leave that in the comments below, whether you like it or not, um, even if you're just saying hello just to affect the algorithm. Don't forget to click like, share, subscribe, ring the notification bell if you haven't done it already. And if you don't mind helping out the channel, go on over to Ko-Fi or to Patreon, drop a dollar until it could be just a tip jar kind of thing. I, I appreciate everybody who's already done that, and to everyone, all of the true believers out there, thank you very, very much for watching.